Hey guys, it's Comic Central here, and today we're going to be doing the history of the Mortal Kombat character, Meat. Let's get into this. Meat first appeared in Mortal Kombat 4, and since has appeared in Mortal Kombat Gold and Mortal Kombat Deception as a cameo, and also in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, which is what the gameplay is of in the background. Meat was also a cameo in Mortal Kombat 9, also commonly called Mortal Kombat 11, and has also appeared in the challenge tower of the game as well. He also appeared in Mortal Kombat X in a combat card within the game. In Armageddon, his backstory is revealed in his game ending, where it states that Meat was an experiment done by Shan Tsung. However, he escaped from Shan Tsung before the experiment was fully completed. This is the only real background we have on the character. However, in the official strategy guide for Mortal Kombat Armageddon, it states that Meat is a fun character who assists Shinnok. However, this is not confirmed or made clear within the game's story mode. Also in his ending, it is said that while the other fighters are busy fighting each other, Meat runs up the pyramid past all of them and somehow defeated Blaze. If someone has any ideas to how Meat can beat one of those powerful Mortal Kombat characters, please let me know. Anyway, after he defeated Blaze, he gained the ability to shapeshift and could become anyone he desired. After this, Meat lost his sense of identity, which made him slowly slip into obscurity. Just to note, Meat never defeated Blaze and Cannon. It is widely unknown what Meat's actual powers are, or the extent of his powers. Originally, Meat was able to mimic the moves of the fighter that was originally chosen in his place, down to the very last detail. This means, if you selected Sub-Zero when you unlocked Meat, he would play the exact same as Sub-Zero. We'll talk about that a little bit later though. However, in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Meat has the speciality of self-mutilation and has an extreme immunity to pain. This character just keeps getting weirder and weirder, and it just keeps making more sense why Netherrealm hasn't made the character playable or had some sort of role bigger than a cameo in both Mortal Kombat 9 or Mortal Kombat X. Anyway, back to talking about Meat's powers and abilities. Because of this extreme immunity to pain, and his odd speciality, Meat is able to somehow survive and function without his own head, and hurts himself in order to rejuvenate himself when he needs it. How this works, I have no idea. Meat is also seen using weapons such as a cleaver in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Mortal Kombat 4, Meat's debut game. In order to access the character, you had to defeat all the challenges in group mode. And then after that, every character the player selected became Meat. And if you turn the game on and off again, you would have to do the exact same process in order to play as Meat again, meaning you can't save him in the game. If you do complete Mortal Kombat 4 as Meat in the arcade version, the game will reset itself. In Mortal Kombat Deception, Shujinko finds Meat standing in a small cave within the Nether Realm, and if Shujinko interacts with him, he rewards him with 1000 Onyx coins and then runs off. In fact, the character was never supposed to be a character, but rather a skin for every character in Mortal Kombat 4, and Meat was only the name of the character model, so it could be used in the game as a skin. He did end up getting put in the game as a joke easter egg, like I spoke about just before. The character's design is based off the bloody skeleton that is left over from Reptile's Vomit Fatality. And that brings us to the end of yet another video. If you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button to let me know. Also, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions about me as a character. You could also comment a video idea that you may have. I take all comments into consideration. Also, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with new videos coming out every Wednesday and Sunday. And with that said, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.